Most people know that astronauts use technical skills during their missions, but we also rely on interpersonal skills, like collaboration, flexibility, and responsibility. NASA recognizes the importance of these life skills and has designed the Expeditionary Skills Training Series. These expeditions in learning will help you gain abilities you can apply in almost every part of your life. Let's get started. Hello, I'm NASA astronaut Victor Glover, and I want to talk to you about self-care and team care. Self-care is how healthy you are mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It includes taking care of your body, taking care of your belongings, being on time, getting enough sleep, and your mood. Exercising good self-care means that you pay attention to yourself and make healthy decisions so you can be ready for normal and unexpected situations. And never underestimate the power of a positive attitude. Belief in something bigger than yourself, singing, and humor are all great things to have in your self-care toolbox. Building on self-care is team care. This is how well the hands, heads, and hearts of your teammates are working together. Being good at team care means that you monitor your teammates for signs of stress, fatigue, or sickness, and take steps to actively manage and support the health and readiness of your team. Both self-care and team care rely on good communication, and the stronger the relationship, the stronger the communication. That's why astronauts spend a lot of time working together and getting to know each other before they ever fly in space. You know, this reminds me of a time in our outdoor leadership training when a group of us were hiking in the mountains of Wyoming. One of my teammates was getting a hot spot on his foot. It turned out to be a blister, but instead of trying to tough it out, he exercised good self-care and told one of my classmates who happened to be a medical doctor. They both understood that we had a long way to hike and dealing with this foot injury early was the best thing to do. After a small field operation and some creative bandaging, the foot was as good as new, or at least as good as it needed to be. Because they exercised good self-care and good team care, we were able to complete our hikes and all of our training objectives. You can practice self-care and team care every day. Whether you realize it or not, you are a part of many teams, your classmates, your family, and your community. By taking care of yourself and watching out for others, you and your team will achieve success that's out of this world. NASA and the 4-H Youth Development Program have joined forces to teach these critical skills. Your challenge is to create a scenario using self-care and team care in your own life. It's time for you to prepare for your voyage. Good luck.